olive oil, asparagus. If your mother wasn't so fancy, we could shop at the gas station like normal people. Ugh, I'm out of wine. Cart. <laughs> we need these because we have to... My doctor says and my garage mechanic agrees that... In the cart. Woohoo! I never heard of a baby swallowing a magazine before. And I'm a doctor. I don't know if it matters, but it was a Time magazine. Does that matter? Uh-oh. You tell him, Jumbo. And you, start over. I want everything in one bag. Yes, ma'am. But I don't want the bag to be heavy. Well, I don't think that's possible. Please, ow, stop. Bag boys have feelings, too, you know. No, you don't. Don't. Strike! 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 Oh, the bag boys are on strike! I'm shaking! I can taste that get together now. Hey! I was holding that! Next time I'll knock your hat off, scab! So hungry. There's gotta be some food left. There's gotta be something to eat in this house. Ooh. Hey, the dogs smell something. Yoink! <laughs> My old lunch bag. <gasps> Very old animal crackers. Um, Ow! What the hell? Whoa, a solid gold animal cracker. Find the golden giraffe, and we'll send you and your family to Africa. Sir, that contest ended 30 years ago. We don't even make animal crackers anymore. Sir, with all due respect, an old box of cookies is not a legal contract. Ow! My eye! We're in good trouble. He could sue us. The Simpsons are going to Africa! Yeah! What is it, Nakongo? Evil is coming. Africa looks like a beautiful jewel. And these musical garment bags aren't bad either. Attention, passengers. Please prepare for our landing in Tanzania. Hello, hello, Simpson. Isn't that cute? A bush baby. Where? Ah, shoo, shoo. Oh, man. I just bought this shirt. Okay, you'll be sleeping here tonight. On the ground? No, Mom. Oh. Eh, bound to happen. Help! Ugh, this mosquito net's not working. No, no. You have it inside out. There. All right, I got another one. You didn't see a warthog. I'm looking at one right now. Nobody's a warthog. What about him? <laughs> ah! Wow. It just rolled over to 10,000. Wait, rhinos don't come from eggs. What did you just see, Lisa? I know, but... What did you just see? Hmm. What? What is it? Hmm. Poachers. Let's get out of here. They'll be back. They left their cargo pants. Karabuni Kijijini. The Maasai chief welcomes you to his village. Mom, look what Mabali gave me. Hey, check it out. Bart, I told you not to get your lip disc. All right. Uh-oh. Oh, my no! Ah, a hungry, hungry hippo! Ah, 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 ah. Hippos hate water! No, they don't. They cut! Hmm? <laughs> Working! Ah, let's 
bitches! <laughs> We're hopelessly lost and about to die. Being eaten by a crocodile is just like going to sleep in a giant blender. What Let's just float by quietly. Oh no, we're headed for Victoria Falls! Yeah! Whew. This flower saved our lives. Bart, go to the top of that hill and see if you can spot our hotel. Mount Kilimanjaro? Go. Okay. <laughs> A chimp. Hello, little fella. <gasps> this is the place I've read about, where Dr. Bushwell lives among the chimps. Oh, wasn't that sweet? He named it after his wife. No, Dr. Bushwell is a woman. Your work has really inspired me, Doctor. And I love your sensible ponytail. Well, thank you. See, Jojo, she likes it. <laughs> Every day I get up at 5.30, watch the chimps, eat a quick lunch of roots and water, then more chimp watching. <laughs> what? What is it, Pointy? <laughs> Oh, no! It's the poachers! Yes! Somebody like this monkey! <laughs> Bad monkey! Greenpeace? That's right. And we're not leaving till we rescue every animal here. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. <clears throat> Unbelievable. The shaft must be five miles deep. <sighs> Africa. Could you exploit your beloved chimps like this? I think we should look at her research before we condemn her entirely. I haven't said anything for a while. So I snapped. You don't understand the crushing loneliness and greed. Don't worry, Doctor. We'll get you all the help you need. What a nice lady. Very nice. Hey, Lise, check it out. Diamond vision. Buzz off. Animation is so great. It's way better than whatever the alternative is. Electro web, deploy! <laughs> now I control the Roboverse. <laughs> Man, that Princess Tempura is one heck of a Transformazoid. It's approved by a council of Prince Lutheran ministers. What you making there, Gravy? It's a pipe bomb, Jobriath, for to blow up Planned Parenthood. Yay! Wait a minute. Was that cat making out with that mouse? Because if they were... Folks, you're about to witness the exciting new process of motion capture animation. Hmm? Hmm. <laughs> I'm a little teapot, so tint out. Here is my handle, here is my spout. <laughs> <laughs> that dog's a riot. Thank you! Don't spay or neuter your pets. Good night! <laughs> Eroding! Eroding! Gone! That suit gizmo could be worth billions, and I'm gonna get a piece of the action! So, does he still work here or what? I like to buy 500 shares of Animotion Incorporated. 
Okay. Uh, now, before I execute this order, are you sure you understand the risks of stock ownership? Absolutely. For automated stock prices, please state the company name. An emotion. An emotion. Up one and one half. Yahoo! <laughs> Turning to the stock market, Animotion is up an eighth. Yes! After plunging 75 points this morning. Oh! Family meeting! Family meeting! All right, first item. I lost our life savings in the stock market. <gasps> you lost all our money? Point of order. I didn't lose all the money. There was enough left for this cowbell. Damn you, eBay! <laughs> I got a great way to make money. I'm a human guinea pig. You mean like medical testing? Ah, you get a few side effects. The nose is? Ow, oh, not so loud. Hmm. <laughs> that appetite suppressant is amazing. Homer, you really have no desire to eat that food? Food? <laughs> I'm blind. Hey, what's that? Zoom in on Section 8. <gasps> Mr. Simpson, I'm afraid you have a crayon lodged in your brain. Do you have any idea how this might have happened? Well, I'm not sure, but it might have happened when I was six. Fifteen. Sixteen. This could be responsible for your subnormal intelligence. Hey, I came here to be drugged, electrocuted, and probed, not insulted. We could remove the crayon for you. It could vastly increase your brain power. I just underwent a procedure to increase my IQ 50 points. Really? And they gave me this spiffy nerd ensemble, too. Now, who's up for a trip to the library tomorrow? Notice I no longer say library or tomorrow. I'd love to go to the library with you. It's a date. I always dreamed you'd be my library buddy. Get out. No, really. I think books have an amazing power to bring people together. Hey, Flanders, heading for church? Well, I thought I could save you a little time. I was working on a flat tax proposal, and I accidentally proved there's no God. Welcome to the third lecture in our series on not putting things up your nose. Please welcome Homer Simpson. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you your moron. <laughs> you see, it's cool to be smart. <laughs> what you mean with Homer? I've compiled a thorough safety report on this plant. Yeah, it's nice to have someone with brains in this nuclear plant. Homer's the guy who rigged up my pants with this special codpiece. <laughs> It seems the Federales have been tipped off by an anonymous whistleblower. Mm-hmm. Now, while the plant is brought up to code, there will be massive layoffs. Burn! 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 Effigy, eh? Hey, that's me! You cost us our jobs, which we need for working! Not to mention driving to. And I was a lot happier before I knew Dame Edna was a man. A lot happier. Lisa, why didn't you warn me? Being a brain has alienated me from all my friends. Dad, as intelligence goes up, happiness often goes down. That wasn't funny. <laughs> Wait a minute. Somebody's not laughing here. It's him. Is there no place for the man with the 105 IQ? Change me back to the blissful boob I was. I'm sorry, we don't play God here. Look, what if we gave you the name of an unlicensed surgeon? Oh, that would be heaven. See. Mo Sislak! I want you to stick this crayon into my brain. No problem. The old Crayola Oblongata. Tell me when I hit the sweet spot. Deeper, you pusillanimous pilsner pusher! All right, all right. Defense! Uh, uh, defense! Uh, uh. Who wants lottery tickets? Dad, how could you? We were connecting in such a meaningful way. 
We were what, what, and what, what? Uh, 